Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. Today we are going to discuss another fantastic question from Time and Work chapter. Actually, this question I have taken directly from our regular course. I'll tell you the lesson number also. I think it is uh, from session eight of Time and Work. Okay, where in that session we have discussed eight questions. Out of those eight questions, I have chosen this question for YouTube students as well. Okay, right. Start the question here, how they have given. Of course, students have already posted this one in all our Telegram channels and uh, WhatsApp groups also. And I hope by this time, most of the students must have finished this. As far as the difficulty level of this one is concerned, it's a good question. I can categorize this one as moderate to a little advanced question. As far as the current trend is concerned, because nowadays in competitive exams, they are giving questions based on many logic students many twists are there okay this question is one among them just go for this first pause the video and try to do it by yourself the students who are watching this one for the first time watch the uh, stop the video pause the video and uh, do it by yourself after that resume it okay uh, what they have given first we need to read the question properly a and b uh, do the work in alternate days. Very good clue. What do you mean by alternate days? For example, A started the work. Today, A works. And tomorrow, B. A, A won't work. Tomorrow, B works. Day after tomorrow, A. Again, the next day, B. And so on. That is called working alternate days by two persons. Okay. And then after that, if A starts the work, whole work will be completed in 17 days. Okay. Anyway, that is alternate day. And if A starts the work, the work will be completed in 17 days. And if B starts the work, the work will be completed in 17 2 by 3 days. This is the case. Okay. Then in how many days A and B can do the work with the help of C if C alone can finish the work in 20 days? It's a good question. Okay. I told you students, what's the first technique, first strategy? Just divide the problem into two parts. One is information part, other one is question part. Here, directly go for the question part. Not only here, everywhere I give you this technique, go for the question part and try to find out whether are you able to solve the question with the given information or not. If you are able to do that one, go ahead. If you feel that I am not able to uh, solve the question with the given information, simply your option would be data inadequate. Okay. Anyway, I can do this one. Directly go to the question part. A and B can do the work with the help of C in how many days is the question. That means here we need to find out in how many days A, B and C together can do that one. In other words, isn't it? Right? A and B can finish it in how many days with the help of C. That means A, B and C can finish the work in how many days. That is the given question. To answer that question, what you uh, need generally? I need the total amount of work first of all, isn't it? Divided by A, B, C's one day's work or efficiency of A, B and C together. This is what exactly I need to find out. See students, this is the right way, the right approach. Okay, now try to find out the total amount of work, then A, B and C's efficiency you need to find out with the given data. Easily I can find out that one students, right? Just start this one. Always remember, whenever you come across this type of questions, this is the way I'm going to give you the best shortcut for this one. Okay, right. Start this one a little like you have to spend some time on this one, isn't it? Because it's a good question. Ah, now, how to go for this one? See, A and B, first case, total two cases are there. If A starts the work, it will be completed in 17 days. If B starts that one, it will be in 17, 2 by 3 days when A and B are working alternate days on alternate days, right? Now, let's take in this way for example this is a and b okay both can finish the work in how many days they have given 17 days when a starts it right now easily you can say total work is completed in 70 days when a starts that one easily you can say how many days a worked on that how many days b worked on that how simple technique i'll give you 17 days okay first you divide that one with two equally just bifurcate that one if you equally divide that one bifurcate that one to uh 8 16 okay and one day is remaining isn't it what's the meaning of this one here a and b both work for eight days eight days a eight days b started with a when it, if it was started with A, that means this additional day again, who will work on this day? A will work on this day. 
all of you got the idea right simply for bifurcation cause i told you this one total 17 days right so a started the work that means a work for eight days again b work for eight days alternatively one day a one day b okay and finally one day is remaining this one day must be worked by a only a worked on this one day because a started that one so clearly i can say here a work for nine days b work for eight days so total 17 days this is case one okay in the same way bifurcate the second case also b started that b and a total how many days of course 17 days of course 17 days now here you tell me students how many days b worked how many days a worked same technique that is 17 2 by 3 i'm sorry 17 2 by 3 ah, now you tell me how many days b worked and how many days a worked b started the work the same thing divide this 17 2 by 3 by 2 bifurcate that one okay so this is uh, 2 8 uh, 16 8 days okay one day is remaining here 1 2 by 3 one day plus 2 by 3 okay now you tell me with this division you tell me how many days a worked and how many days b worked starting with b clearly i can say b worked for 8 days Again, A also work for 8 days. Next, since B started the work this one day, B worked on this one day because B started. Next, this 2 by 3rd of day, A worked. This is the way students, right? Nowhere you get uh, like this type of uh, division. Actually, this question is taken from the previous papers only, some, pa some part of the question. Up to this extent, I've taken from the previous papers and I've added C's case here and incorporated in our regular course. Okay, now you see, you, you can check this question in the uh, like in the internet also, many websites, this question is there, but the different, the method they followed was a very different, very lengthy method was there. Okay, anyway, students, now with this division, I can say how many days B work here, B these 8 days plus 1 day, 9 days B worked. How many days A worked? 8 days plus 2 by 3. So clearly this is 8 to 2 by 3. I am writing here 8 to 2 by 3. As simple as this one. Okay. Now students, observe one thing very carefully. In both the cases, work is same. In both the cases, work is same. Okay. Then equalize the work to find out the efficiency of A and B individually. How is that? How to equalize this one? How much work is done here? Here, A work for 9 days. This is not A's one day's work. Okay. B work for 8 days. Total 17 days. Now, what is the work here? What is the total amount of work? Very simply, I can say 9 day work of A plus 8 day work of B. That is equal to total amount of work done in this case because uh, since this is done in 17 days with this division to find out the total amount of work uh, this is the way so 9 day work of A plus 8 day work of B equal to total amount of work in the second case what is that one here 9 day work of B plus 8 to 2 by 3 work of A then here this is the total amount of work since in both the cases work is same only difference what is the difference when a started this one or if a starts and works on alternate days along with b it takes 17 days if b starts it takes 17 2 by 3 days working alternatively so the meaning the very meaning is that in both the cases the work amount of work is same for that reason i am going to equalize this one i am going to equalize this one just uh, they are not on the same line but i am equalizing this one for your sake now when a and b on the left hand side a and b on the right hand side easily you can find out uh, a is to b or efficiency of a to b how is that simply go for the like terms here i am just uh, bringing this 8 2 by 3 a to this side that is 9 minus 8 2 by 3 what is 9 minus 8 2 by 3 9 minus 8 is 1 then 1 minus what is this 2 by 3 1 minus 2 by 3 means 1 by 3 now here 1 by 3 a or a by 3 is equal to just send this 8b that side so here it is 9b 9b minus 8b that is 1b this is the relationship 
now you tell me what is the efficiency of a and b a is to b simply you can say that one what is that one a is equal to 3b a is equal to 3b as far as efficiency is concerned a is equal to 3b okay a is equal to 3b means very clearly i can say the work this is the efficiency the amount of work a can do in a certain period of time equal to three times of the amount of work b does in the same time that means a is more efficient than b now if you take the time as one day because you have to compare a and b on the same uh, like common platform for that reason here the ratio of amount of work done by ab a is to b nothing but 3 is to 1 okay i'm not doing the complete simplification here a is equal to 3b a by b is equal to you can easily go for that one 3 by 1 or 3 is to 1 what's the meaning of this one students here a's efficiency is 3 units per day b's efficiency is one unit per day as simple as this one what i have found out here here a's efficiency i got b's i got now what is remaining for me now total amount of work and c's efficiency with the help of this i can get total amount of work very very easily how that is simple one either you can use this statement or this statement because in both the cases i find the total amount of work only now 9a plus 8b equal to total amount of work now here a's efficiency is three units b's efficiency is one unit per day so clearly i can say 9 into 3 this one 27 plus 8 into 1 8 27 plus 8 35 directly i am doing this one total amount of work is 35 units how simple this one now the question is over almost done now we have reached the tail end part of the solution from here you can do very easily now here you see total amount of work already i got 35 units this one i got uh, here three units and b is one efficiency now only thing is left out uh, c's efficiency what is this efficiency how to find out this one just i remove this for space management and i'm going to do that one here since they have given very clearly how they have given help of c if c alone can finish the work in 20 days that means in 20 days c can do 35 units of work total work is 35 in 20 days c can do 35 units in one day c can do how much work why one day because i need to find out the efficiency of c as uh, as far as one day is concerned because for a and b also i took the common thing as a one day only one day in one day a can do three units in one day b can do one unit now here in one day c can do in 20 days 35 units in one day how much work means that is simply 35 by 35 by 20 simple 35 by 20 okay now just go for this one five sevens then five fourths that is equal to seven by four now here the combined efficiency ace is three units and b's is one unit and c's is seven by four units simple okay what is this one three plus one four four seven by four four seven by 4 4 7 by 4 that means 16 plus 7 23 by 4 i'm writing here 23 by 4 now total amount of work is 35 divided by this is 4 4 16 16 plus 7 23 23 by 4 23 by 4 now go for the final simplification this is 35 into 4 by 23 okay now we are getting the uh, fractions here no problem in time and work uh, we can get the days in terms of fractions it doesn't matter now here 35 4 times what is 35 4 times 35 2 times is 70 we know that one 72 is 150 150 by 23 150 by 23 days this is my answer
if in the given options if they give in the fraction in the mixed fraction do the mixed fraction what is it 23 how many times 23 7 means that is more than 150 23 6 times 26 120 3 6 18 138 138 means how much is the remainder remainder 150 minus 138 to 12 this one so finally i am writing here 6 12 by 23 days this is the final answer this is the final answer. Okay. I hope this is clear for all of you students. You can expect this type of questions in many, many competitive exams nowadays. You take any examination where, where quantitative aptitude is, uh, aptitude is part of that one. In many competitive exams, they are giving questions based on this logic. Now, what, to, what you need to do students, if they give the questions in this model, they may add something to this one also, right? If they give in this model, always start the question in this way two cases if they give take both the cases separately and in both the cases total amount of work is same then equalize that one to get the efficiency once you know the basics you can play with the uh, question students for the time being every time I have been telling you the same thing first focus on the basics then you can play with that one and the questions will become what peanuts for you. It's a cake swap for you. Okay. Thank you so much students and uh, I'll meet you in the next session. Actually, I told you this question have been, I've taken this one from my regular course only in my, in our regular course, our techniques are like this. Thank you so much and I'll meet, meet you in the next session.